In 2001, 152 cholera cases were reported in the rural areas outside Durban's waterborne sewerage line. Alarmed by the spread of the disease, Durban's Etiquini municipality started providing sanitation and clean water. <laughs> We went so long distance to fetch the water and then if you come there by the river, the water already is dirty, the cow come drink it and then we are going to get the water and we are going to get the water and we are going to get the water. Cost was a major limitation, which meant the technical wizards had to think smart. One of their ideas was to install a ground tank next to each dwelling. Durban was among the first local governments to supply 200 litres of free water daily to each household. For, for toilet we go, we go, we go to, the, to the tree, you know. The municipality also refined existing dry toilet models that would allow the urine to run off, while feces accumulated separately under drier conditions. This innovation is a simple and environmentally sound way for householders to empty the toilet while reducing odours and disease-carrying insects. Toilet. 